What's going on, everybody? My name is Mason Foles. I'm here today with Winners and Winers, one of their expert handicappers. Today is Sunday, May 21st, 2023. Hope you guys are doing well, finishing your weekend strong, and most importantly, I hope you're ready for a few more picks today. Bummer yesterday is I'm going to try to get through our recaps quickly. I had the Astros minus one and a half at home against the A's with our free pick. They ended up winning, but only by a run. As I'm now four and six in our last 10 free picks, 103, 95, and one in my last 199 free picks overall. So I'm hitting that reset button and I'm looking to dominate today. Now, same news with my best bet. I said also came up short. I'm now 16, eight in my last 24. The Nuggets shocked me as the Lakers couldn't cover the five and a half point spread at home. I thought they were going to bounce back in that game, but it just wasn't the case. As I'm now 69, 50, and two in my last 121 best bets overall. So I'm locking back in and I'm looking to finish this weekend strong. So if you guys can please like, subscribe, hit that bell, comment to tell me what you're betting on or what you want to see. And I'll keep cranking these videos out for you guys. You mean the world to me, and you've been killing it with your picks. So comment down below. Let me know who you like in today's slate of games. I'll be making sure to respond as quickly as I can. I also wanted to remind you about that first link in the description. If you click on that, you can find your state, figure out which sports books are giving out the best deals near you. And my final reminder, do not forget about the Winners and Winners Discord as we continue to grow and we continue to rake in the coin. We have one of the best communities out there and we're just looking for more of you guys to hop on our team. So jump on our link today for free. It's down in the description. You can do just that. And today with my free pick, I am absolutely 100% determined to come back today as I'm looking to attack the MLB. I'm taking the Los Angeles Angels at minus 140 money line at home against the Minnesota Twins as I believe they have the pitching advantage and they've been consistently showing up at the plate. Now I can't say the same for the Twins as they've got the 26th highest team batting average and they're only hitting 231 as a team against right-handed pitchers this season. So I don't see them consistently reaching base as they're also striking out the second most. They're going to continue to swing and miss and they're not going to have enough opportunities to score. They're also 2-5 and five in their last seven games in Los Angeles against the Angels. So I see that trend continuing in this one. The Angels... He'll be starting Shohei Itani on the mound as he's an absolute beast. He can do it all as he's 5-1 this year with a 3.23 ERA, but he only has a .91 whip. So it's been extremely tough to reach base against him, and I just don't think the Twins are good enough at the plate to consistently do that. Otani, he's also 3-1 at home this year, and when he's playing in front of his home fans, his ERA drops to 2.67. He's going to pitch deep into this one. He's going to rack up a bunch of strikeouts and he's going to keep the Twins from scoring enough runs to win this game on the road. Now, I do trust the Angels at the plate, though. I also see Otani showing up there. As a team, the Angels, they're averaging the seventh most runs per game, and they have the sixth highest team batting average. They've been seeing the ball great, and I see them scoring multiple different ways in this game. They're also 5-1 and one in their last six games before yesterday against the Twins, as they've had their number. They're going to stay consistent in this game. The Twins, they'll be starting Pablo Lopez on the mound. He's been all right, but I don't completely trust him on the road as he's 2-2 two two this year with a 4.00 ERA, but he struggled really bad in his last game. He did not look good. He gave up five hits, five earned runs, and three home runs in 4.2 innings pitch. So he's really struggled. I see him struggling again in this game, and I see the Angels getting the job done at home. So take the Los Angeles Angels money line at minus 140 at home against the Minnesota Twins, and I'll look to see all of you back in the green. I'd also love it if you guys could check out my best bet today. Looking to attack today. I've been seeing the NBA games a lot better. My premium picks have been on fire. Like I said, I'm 16 and 8 in my last 24 best bets. And today I'm looking to attack the Celtics versus Heat game. As it's only 30 bucks, I've lowered that price for you guys. And it's still a no sweat bet. As if it doesn't hit, you'll get your money back in store credit. But I absolutely love this pick. I can't wait for it start to start. I'm hoping some of you guys ride with me on this one. I also have my all-access passes available as I'm handicapping in all sports. We've been crushing the NBA, the NHL, and the MLB as we're going to be grinding through that season all summer. So hop on my team, and I'll look to carry you guys to the green. I also have my 60% off promo code available down in the description, but that code is MVNRRP60, and all you need at the end of checkout to take some money off the top before we win some more. So thank you guys so much for coming and checking out this video. You mean the absolute world to me. You're the best, and I can't wait to see where we go from here. I know we've had a little bit of a cooler streak with our free picks, but my premium picks are absolutely ripping, and I'm looking to carry that momentum over into today. So thank you all for coming and checking out this video. If you could, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell. 
so you can come back tomorrow and catch another free pick.